Hey, I'm Kevin. Welcome to Concept One Shop Talk. Today we're going to look at the tensioner on a supercharged pulley system. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is remove the belt off the engine, and then we're going to mark this tensioner. What we're trying to do is figure out uh, and evaluate the the travel of the tensioner. When we put the tensioner, uh, put the belt on there, uh, if we have if the tensioner is too loose, then we're uh, there's a good possibility that we will the tensioner will over travel, which will bottom out and lose tension on the belt. So we're going to show you how to mark this thing. Okay, so what we do is let the tensioner say there's no tension on the tensioner. It's all the way up. We're going to put a mark right pretty, you know, you can use any kind of edge or whatever you can find. There's a casting mark right there in the middle. So I'm going to mark that casting mark on the part that moves. Then I'm going to mark it also on the other side that stays fixed. So now when we pull on the tensioner, let's pull it all the way down. I can mark at the top. So what you're seeing there is you can tell how much that's moving. So for the tensioner to move that much, it's, that belt, that, that means that belt is stretching probably an inch to an inch and a half. There's a lot of load on these uh, belts that people don't realize. Uh, for instance, uh, I think this, this type Magnuson supercharger, they say on a LS3 at um, I think it's around 14 pounds of boost that it takes about 80 horsepower just to turn the blower, which is pretty amazing. And we don't think about there being that much load on a, uh, on a belt. So okay, now that we've done that, we're going to release the tensioner. And we will put a new belt on. And what we're going to do is, what we figured out is to get, we, we need this belt to be actually hard to get on. I'm going to show you where to put it on and uh, uh, kind of what we're looking for. So if you, you know, obviously if you look between the two, 50% of it's going to be right in the middle, right? So we need really what we found is about 60 40. So when the, to be able to get a belt on it, that thing's going to come back to about 40, and we need 60% travel to even be close to what we need. Okay, we're going to install the belt. What I'm going to show you is uh, where to put these belts on the last thing. It, it, these, they're pretty hard. They have to be tight. Otherwise, we are definitely going to have some uh, slipping problems. Okay, now as you can see, with the tensioner all the way up, that thing's got to go a long way. It's pro this is probably a two-man job, by the way, because, and slide it on this upper idler last. If you try to slip it over these, see it's smooth. If you try to slip it over these with a lip, you'll never get it on there. Okay, so we slip it on, check it, make sure everything's where it's supposed to be, we release. Now I'm going to show you something. See how close that is? If you, you can just see how much this belt will pull when we, when we pull on this thing by hand. And notice that if, if uh, a lot of times people call and say, well, my belt's hitting my tensioner. Well, let me show you something. Just pull on it like that, it'll release, and it'll normally clear. Now. What we're going to do is I'm going to go back over here to where we marked the tensioner and you can see where we're running right here. We're a little less than 50 or a little more than 50 percent which is I don't want any any less than that. If you can get one slightly shorter that's ba that's that's best but um, uh, you know, a lot of times we are limited on belt sizes, so it's, it's somewhat a hit or a miss. Now we try to furnish the correct belt and the one that fits best, but uh, um, if you've ever messed with them much, you'll see that belts can vary. Even the same two sizes could be a little bit different in length. So uh, pay attention to that. Now 
We're also going to have a video of a of an engine. A, it's a, actually a 427 LS engine with a heartbeat supercharger. And I want you to watch the tensioner move as that thing uh, goes up through the RPM range. Thanks for watching Concept One Shop Talk. We'll see you next time.